Yeah, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to. Get there, hard jab. Yep. Keep getting those spots. Seven. Good. Up. There you go. Good. Nice. Good job. Good. Good. Nice. Good. So we're going to be in the top. We're going to go hard flow, get separation, driving it down. As we go between, we're going to go hard right, left, stopping on that left foot, pause for a second, big step with your right, going in for the right hand, right foot layup. I think his ability to comprehend and really grasp the game and different concepts of the game. He's such a quick learner and he's able to uh, listen and then immediately apply what you're telling him. And then he also is very smart in his way of approaching how to ask questions or if he doesn't understand the, uh, a drill or a concept, uh, asking to further clarify what we're talking about. So catch and go, and just driving in tight and done, just dunks. All right, let's do three each. Huh? Usually over here you don't get bouncy like that. Feeling good though. What? what? Uh, as far as uh, naturally and just uh, coming in without having to adjust mechanics or anything, he's uh, one of the best I've had. Uh, he just is uh, a natural shooter. He has uh, really good mechanics. We've made uh, a few adjustments, uh, but nothing uh, out of this uh, world. He's just been very consistent and he just more so uh, increasing you know discipline 
um, making sure that he stays consistent each shot and valuing each shot. Uh, just kind of wait around and see which teams want to get in. Uh, we're going to be able to show that he has the ability to shoot, uh, especially the corner three. He has, he's going to have the ability to handle the ball, and we're just going to also show that he is uh, athletic enough to compete at a high level in the NBA. Um, so my expectations, you know, coming to my freshman year, were just um, to kind of earn that starting point guard role. Um, you know, I didn't really have any expectations further than that. Um, I wanted to come in the summer, um, kind of establish my presence, um, and earn that start starting point guard role. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I really thought about going to the NBA until after the season was canceled. Um, you know, I, I would say midway through Pac-12 play, um, I saw myself on, you know, a couple of big boards and, you know, agents were contacting me, but um, yeah, I really wanted to focus on the season and the, su the success of that before I really looked forward. So I would say until after the season. Yeah. Yeah, so um, this, I mean, the, the length of this process has been beneficial to me. Um, just has allowed me to really, you know, mature body-wise and mature as a person, I believe. Um, you know, if the draft was a normal day, you know, I was um, about a buck sixty back then. I mean, I've been able to add, you know, um, about 18 pounds since I've gotten here, so I'm almost up to 175 now. Um, so it's been beneficial on that matter, um, just being able to give more time to mature my body. Um, I think my toughness, you know, if you look at the, the film and the stats, you know, I was a, a pretty good rebounder for my size and position. Um, you know, I had a couple of uh, 10 plus rebound games this past season, and uh, I, you know, I'm not afraid to go down there and um, fight for the board with the, with the big boys down there and, and take charges as well. So I think the toughness that I bring is something that's overlooked sometimes. Uh, I love to play video games and listen to music. I'm a big soccer head, so I love watching, uh, watching soccer and playing FIFA. So. Uh, Call of Duty and 2K. Uh, oh, I have both, but I prefer PS4. So, yeah, I, I'm not saying I'm elite, but I'm, I'm good. I can hold my own for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm solid too. Yeah. I bet.